two large-scale science instruments will be officially launched soon in Beijing's northeastern district of uh, Huairou. And these are milestones in the emerging Huairou Science City, which is part of Chinese uh, capital's plan to become a center of scientific and technological innovation. And my colleague Pan Deng was granted rare access to the science instruments and filed this report. A national science centre is rising in Beijing's suburban district of Huairou, known for its natural scenery. It's now adding a new sci-tech edge. Five large-scale science instruments are planned for the first stage of development. Two of them will be officially launched within this year. One of them is called a Synergetic Extreme Condition User Facility. Providing conditions like ultra-low temperatures and quantum computation, it's crucial for China's understanding of material science. No detail can be taken lightly in building such a massive and delicate instrument. Professor Lu Li is in charge of this facility. He's a veteran scientist with a resume that includes running the laboratory of the 1998 Nobel laureate in physics, Daniel Chi Cui. Liu says the facility is entering the global SciTech competition with an open attitude. We aim to find new materials efficiently through cutting-edge approaches. I don't think there is a contradiction between joining a global scientific competition and opening up to global researchers. Essentially, we are doing basic study. It requires the participation of the best talent, wherever they are and their wisdom. Our achievement can also be shared with the world. The Earth System Numerical Simulation Facility is another one to be launched within this year. It studies our planet, one of the most complex systems, through computational modeling and data mining. Three more facilities and 29 interdisciplinary research platforms are under construction, including the landmark High Energy Photon Source. So we've talked quite a lot about scientific hardware, but what about the environment, including living condition as well as human-friendly and sustainable development? That's exactly why we came to this international talents apartment of the Science City to find out. Apartments like this are for global talents coming to Huairo. It's part of the Science City's effort to become a green and smart community. Tao Bingwu has been in charge of Huairo's effort in this grand design since the start of the project in 2017. Armed with a doctorate degree in material science, he worked with a multinational chemical giant in the US before returning to China. He says the site is not only about hard science, but also about people. We try to create a in the environment can be really easily to connect to each other and to be more collaborative. And uh, um, a, a, a community that can um, facilitate or encourage people to do more communication. Uh, of course, we try to build the, uh, <coughs> the natural resource also combined with technology. Uh, future technology, future lifestyles. The Huairo Science City has much more to offer for young entrepreneurs like Tong Junzhuang. He started Multifields Tech right after graduation. His company focuses on nano-level ultra-high precision motion control in extreme low temperatures. This is a niche market critical for science instrumentation. Budget matters to startups. Tom moved his company to Huairo last year because it offers a three-year rent-free policy. More importantly, Huairo allows him to apply for the use of the large-scale science instruments. Now the technical feature of his products raises the bar to a new high in the industry. I think Large-scale science instruments are meant to solve the most difficult problems. Small labs cannot achieve this. Viral Science City concentrates the most advanced and interesting research. For my industry, the most profitable sector is inventions and solutions that no one has done before. We are determined to set a brand new path, so Huairo is where we ought to be. Now, nearly 14,000 researchers have been studying or working here. Authorities expect the number to rise 
as Huayro Science City becomes a comprehensive national science centre by 2025. Pandong CGTN, Beijing.